Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Hare 
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna 
कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बला गिरी पर गोपी जन बला गिरी पर शोर नंदन प्रज जन रंजन यशोर नंदन प्रज जन रंजन यमुन चीरा मुन सीरा बन जय हराध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बला यशोर नंदन प्रज जन रंजन यमुन चीरा बन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे 
Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Goravani Pricharine Nirvishesha Shanyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om So this evening we're speaking the final lecture on this series of the nine limbs of devotional service. Tonight we're going to speak about Atmani Vedana. So So we began with hearing and chanting and then remembering and then we had Pada Sevanam and then Archanam and then Dashyam, and then we had oh, Vandanam, yeah, we missed our Vandanam, well, Vandanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dashyam, and Sakyam was yesterday, and tonight at Mani Vedanam, so nine, right? So, so these last two items, this friend, becoming the friend and surrendering everything, they're very high, very difficult processes to execute. So, today we are Vedan so becoming the friend of Krishna is difficult and it's even more difficult to give up everything, to surrender everything, the, in, the body and even the soul towards Krishna. So the Sakyam, the Mitrata ka bhav, wo kathin hai. So 
becoming fully surrendered to Lord Krishna is like an animal. You become like an animal which is sold in the marketplace and given to the person who purchases the animal. The animal has no freedom. He has to accept to go with its owner. So, but someone purchases the animal, it's assumed that the man who's purchasing the animal is going to take care of the animal. He will provide the needs of the animal. The animal doesn't have any independence. He cannot say, no, I'm, I'm not going to go with you. I don't want to be your animal. I'm going to I'm wait for somebody else. So the Pashu is not his own self-esteem. He can't say that, no, no, I won't go with you. I will become someone else. But when the owner takes good care of the animal, then the animal also provides everything. The animal feels comfortable and happy in the care of the owner, will do whatever is required. So, in some way, devotional service is like that. It's like becoming a sold out animal under the care of Lord Krishna. So, Bhagwan ki jo bhakti mein sharnagati ka matlab bhi yehi hai ki ek bike huye pashu ki tarah puri tarah se ashrit ho jana. So we, we have some examples of devotees who have achieved that level of devotion, who surrendered everything to Lord Krishna. And the, per, the, the example who is usually given of a person who achieved perfection by surrendering everything is Bali Maharaj. So I see kuch udharan hai, aise bhakto ke, so Bali Maharaj was the king of the demons, the Asuras, and with the help of his guru Sukracharya, Bali Maharaj was able to go to heaven and defeat the demigods and become the ruler in the heavenly planets. So Bali Maharaj The demigods were not able to defeat the army of Bali Maharaj and time was not in their favor. So, so the demigods had no choice but to go into hiding. They'd lost their kingdom, they'd lost the heavenly planets, and they had to just go and hide somewhere wherever they could hide themselves. But Mother Aditi, she was aggrieved because her sons, the demigods, were all in hiding. And so she approached her husband and begged her husband to make help her to get uh, the Lord to come as their child. And the Lord came, of course, as Vamana Dev. So, Mata Aditi, who, like in this part, is very interested in 
क्योंकि ये सारे देवी देवता उनके जो पुत्र थे और वो चिंता में थे कि हमारे पुत्रों को छुप के रहना पड़ रहा है तो उन्होंने अपने पति से प्रार्थना की कि ऐसा कि भगवान अगर हमारे पुत्र बन के आ जाए तो इनको इनके इनके इन पर कृपा करेंगे so lord vamana dev appears in the the dwar a dwarf form but a brahmana and he goes to meet with bali maharaj and to beg charity so param bhagwan prakat hote hain ek pone brahman ke roop mein aur wo is brahman ke roop mein vaman dev ke naam se jane jate hain aur bali maharaj ke dwar par jate hain diksha mangne so the brahmanas are allowed to go and beg charity and bali maharaj came to the king the court of ba bali maharaj lord vamana dev came to the court of bali maharaj because bali maharaj had been known to be charitable his guru sukracharya had told him that he should give charity to the brahmanas so bali maharaj ke गुरु शुक्राचार्य ने उनको ऐसा शिक्षा दिया था कि ब्राह्मणों को दीक्षा ब्राह्मणों को दीक्षा देना चाहिए और जब भगवान वामन देव इसीलिए भगवान वामन देव बलि महाराज के द्वार पर पहुंचे दीक्षा मांग जस्ट बिकॉज समवन गिव्स चैरिटी टू ब्राह्मणस डजंट मीन दैट दे आर ग्रेट सिंपली डिवोटीज अगर कोई बस ब्राह्मणों को थोड़ा दीक्षा दे दे तो इसका ये मतलब नहीं है कि वो बहुत बड़े भक्त हो गए बट इट्स अ पायस एक्टिविटी सर्टेनली दे गेट सम बेनिफिट टू गिव चैरिटी टू द ब्राह्मणस बिकॉज़ द ब्राह्मणस आर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द सोशल बॉडी तो लेकिन ब्राह्मणों को भिक्षा देना ये पुण्य कर्म है और ये अच्छा है और ब्राह्मण जो है इस पूरे समाज के सिर के समान है and lord krishna himself used to always give great respect to the brahmanas param bhagwan krishna swayam brahmano ko ati aadar dete the we know how sudama came there and lord krishna washed his feet and worshiped him and fed him to hum hum jante hain ki kaise wahan pe jab sudama brahman aaye to bhagwan ne unka kis tarah se unka charan dhoya unko aarti kiya unko chawal dhulaya and in krishna leela you have demons like jarasandha and jarasandha used to also give charity to brahmanas aur krishna leela mein hum dekhte hain jarasand jaise asur bhi hain aur wo wo bhi brahmano ko diksha diya karte the ultimately bim from the pandavas killed jarasandha with the help of lord krishna to ant mein bhim ne bhagwan krishna ki madad se jarasand ka vadh kiya but jarasandha used to regularly give any charity any brahmana who came he would give them whatever they asked for lekin jarasand koi bhi brahmana unke paas aata tha to jarasand unko turant shiksha dete the so lord vamana dev appeared and he came to bali maharaj begging charity but bali maharaj's guru sukracharya understood that this brahmana must be vishnu that he is not an ordinary brahmana and he told his, he told bali maharaj don't give him any charity so jab bali maharaj ke dwar pe vaman dev aaye to shukracharya ne jab unko dekha to shukracharya samajh gaye ki ye brahman nahi hai ye to vishnu hai aur shukracharya ne bali maharaj ko kaha ki inko diksha bilkul dena mat dijiyega so bali maharaj was confused for a little while what to do because previously sukracharya had told him give charity to the brahmanas but now sukracharya is telling him don't give this brahmana he's vishnu if you give him charity he will take everything away from you so bali maharaj ye sukracharya ki baat sunkar thoda sanshay mein aa gaye kyunki sukracharya ne pehle unko hamesha bataya tha ki brahmano ko दान देना चाहिए लेकिन आज बता रहे कि इस ब्राह्मण को दान मत दीजिए ये विष्णु हैं और अगर आपने इनको दान देने के लिए वचन दिया तो ये सब कुछ छीन लें यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड नॉट ऑल गुरुज आर गुड गुरुज शुक्राचार्य वाज अ असिमनो गुरु ही वाज नॉट गिविंग स्पिरिचुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन ही वाज गिविंग मटेरियल इंस्ट्रक्शंस तो 
महाराज बता रहे कि हमें समझना होगा कि सारे गुरु जो है वो अच्छे गुरु नहीं होते तो शुक्राचार्य जो है वो केवल भौतिक शिक्षाएं दे रहे थे और वो आध्यात्मिक शिक्षा नहीं देते थे शुक्राचार्य that if bali maharaj gives charity and this brahmana takes everything away there will be nothing for me shukracharya ko apni chinta ho rahi thi ki agar ye bali maharaj ne inko de diya daan aur ye sab kuch le liya inhone to fir mere mere ko dene ke liye kuch bachega nahi inke paas i don't want him to lose everything if he loses everything how will he how, how will he take care of me mere ke agar iska sab kuch chala gaya to mujhe kya denge fir so that's material consciousness so ye bahut hi chetna hai so bali maharaj considered the situation and he thought that well if he is lord vishnu then he's supremely powerful and if he wants he can take everything away from me so bali maharaj ne shukracharya ji ko kaha ki agar ye vastav mein vishnu hi hai to ye to param bhagwan hai ye sab kuch chahe to sab kuch He thought it will be better I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better that I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better that I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better that I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better that I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better that I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better that I give him than if I give him I get the credit that I gave everything to him. So it's better So Bali Maharaj decided he would give charity to Lord Vamana Dev. So Bali Maharaj ne nirnay kiya ki wo Vaman Dev ko daan denge. His guru Shukracharya was very angry and he cursed him. Aur jo unke guru the Shukracharya wo bahut krodhit the aur unhone unko shraap bhi de diya. He said I curse you you will lose everything. Lekin main aapko shraap deta hu ki aapka sab kuch lut jaye. And so it happened. Lord, Lord Bali Maharaj allowed Lord Vamana Dev to take charity. Lord Vamana Dev said, "I simply want three steps of land," and with two steps, he covered the whole universe. So, so this way, Bali Maharaj Dan Den ke liye tayar ho gaye, and Vaman Dev ne unko kaha ki mujhe three pag jameen chahiye and वामन देव ने अपने दो पाव में ही दो पग में ही पूरे ब्रह्मांड को नाप दिया सो देन लॉर्ड वमान देव कंप्लेन यू टोल मी आई कुड गेट थ्री स्टेप्स ऑफ लैंड वेयर एम आई सपोज टू टेक द थर्ड स्टेप तो वामन देव ने उनको कहा कि नाराजगी दिखाया कि आपने कहा था कि तीन पग जमीन रखने के लिए देंगे और दो में ही सब कुछ खत्म हो गया अभी तीसरा पाव कहाँ रखू and lord vamana dev had bali maharaj arrested and tied up like a criminal so vaman dev ne bali maharaj ko arrest kar liya pakad liya aur unko ek chor ke ek mujrim ki tarah baand diya he did not keep his promise he told me i could have three steps of land to unhone kaha ki inhone apna vachan nahi rakha unhone kaha tha ki teen pag zameen ke deunga where am i supposed to take the third step main apna teesra paav kahan rakhu because he'd already covered the whole universe kyunki wo brahmand pehle hi unhone pura maap diya usse so then bali maharaj because bali maharaj is vowed to be truthful he does not want to lie so he told lord vamana ji you can take the third step on my head और क्योंकि बली महाराज अपने वचन के बहुत पक्के हैं वो अपने वचन पे वापस नहीं जा सकते तो बली महाराज ने कहा कि तीसरा कदम आप मेरे सिर पे रखिए सो दिस इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ बाली महाराज दैट ही हैड द होल यूनिवर्स ही इज रूलिंग द किंग द यूनिवर्स ही इज द किंग ऑफ हेवन एंड इज कंट्रोलिंग द हेवनली प्लैनेट्स बट ही द Lord Krishna took everything away from him. So, ये बली महाराज का महानता है कि पूरे स्वर्ग लोक के पूरे ब्रह्मांड के वो अधिपति बने हुए थे और भगवान ने उनसे सब कुछ छीन लिया. No, he didn't really take it. He'd given it, right? He'd given it. He'd surrendered everything. वास्तव में उनसे भगवान ने नहीं लिया. उन्होंने भगवान को सब कुछ शरणागत कर दिया. He surrendered the whole kingdom. and then with the third step he said take the third step on my head so he was surrendering his body also to the service of 
the Lord. So this is ultimate surrender to give up everything, body and what all your possessions. You can give away your kingdom. You think I still have my body. Bali Maharaj gave up his body also to the Lord. So ye hai purna shramagar ki bali koi kaha sakta hai ki maine sab kuch Bhagwan ko de diya, lekin fir bhi apna sharir kaha ki mera hai. Lekin Bali Maharaj ne sab rajy bhi de diya aur apna sharir bhi de diya. Bali Maharaj is the grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is a great devotee, but also from the demon family. So Bali Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj ke putra hain, aur ye ye usi dete kul se hain. Now the demons, the asuras, they are meant to reside in the lower regions of the universe. So jo asuri log hain, unke liye the demigods, they live in Swarga Loka, which is up in the higher, above the earth planet. But the demons, they live in the lower regions, in Sutala Loka and so on, which is below Bumandala. It's in the lower regions of the universe. So the Devi Devsa are in the upper regions, like so it was arranged that with the third, with Bali Maharaj surrendering himself fully to the Lord, that he would go back down to this lower region where the demons are meant to reside. So is the reason. Now this was in keep in keeping with the curse of Sukracharya. Sukracharya cursed it. If you give charity to him, I curse you, you will lose everything and go to hell. But these hellish planets where Bali Maharaj resides with the demons, they're called the subterranean heavenly planets. They're even more opulent than the heavenly planets. So, but it's dark. There's no sunlight there. It's all darkness. The light comes from jewels. And Lord Vamana Dev said, and I'm also coming with you. I will reside there with you. I will be your doorkeeper and nobody will disturb you. So this is the result of surrendering fully to the Lord, because Bali Maharaj gave everything to the Lord, the Lord became his servant. So, so Lord Vamana Dev is residing there in Sutala Loka in the lower regions, and Bali Maharaj is there also. So, uh, Bali Maharaj is the one example of someone who performed Atmani Vedanam, surrendering everything to the Lord. But there are there's another two examples. One example is Queen Rukmini. So Bali Maharaj is a Udharan who has done everything that God has done with the Atmani Vedanam. Now, Rukmini, she was the daughter of the king of Vidarbha, and uh, she had a brother named Rukma, 
and Rukma was a friend of Sishupal, and he wanted to marry his sister to Sishupal. So Rukmini, Vidarbh ke raja ki putri thi, aur unke bhai the jinka naam tha Rukma, mitr the Sishupal, to wo chahti thi, wo Rukma chahte the ki Rukmini ki shaadi Sishupal se ho. But Rukmini had been hearing about Lord Krishna. Different saintly people were coming to the palace and describing the glory of Lord Krishna. Sometimes Narada would also come and tell them about Lord Krishna's past. And Rukmini was hearing about Lord Krishna and she became attracted to Krishna and she wanted to have Krishna for her husband. So Rukmini Devi, in her Raj Mahal, Bhagwan Sri Krishna ke gunan uvarnan sunti rehti thi, vahaan pe alag alag sadhu aate the, kabhi kabhi narad muni bhi aate the, aur wo loog Krishna ke baare mein bataate the, aur Rukmini joh hai sunti thi, shravan karti thi Krishna ke baare. So Rukmini's father was, he was also thinking that Rukmini would make a nice wife for Lord Krishna. But the eldest son Rukma was very much against Lord Krishna, he wanted that his sister should marry Sishupal, who was really not a very nice person. He was one of the demons. So Rukmini ji ke pita ji, wo bhi is baat ko maante te ki ye jo Rukmini ji ke liye sabse achhe var Krishna honge. Lekin unka jo bhai tha Rukma, wo Bhagwan Krishna se vivaah karne ke bilkul virod mein tha. Or wo chaate te ki vivaah ho Sishupal se, jo ki unke mitr te. But Rukmini was determined that she really wanted to marry Krishna. So she wrote a letter to Lord Krishna describing her situation. And she also told Lord Krishna that she was waiting for him to come to take her as so, his wife. So Rukmini Devi ji. Uh, and she expressed her desire to Lord Krishna that if she could not have Lord Krishna for her husband in this life, she was prepared to undergo austerities birth after birth until she could get Lord Krishna for her husband. So she wrote to Lord Krishna and said, I'm surrendered to you. You please come and take me for your wife. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> so Rukmini is an example also of somebody who is completely surrendered to Krishna. She's surrendering everything, her body and Everything she possesses, she is ready to give everything for Krishna. So Rukmini ji bhi iska ek udharan hai, jo ki sab kuch, jo ki unke paas hai, unka sharir, unka sab kuch, wo Krishna ko arpan karna chahte. And in some Rukmini is surrender, it's in some ways it's even better than Bali Maharaj because Rukmini has that bhava for Krishna. So Rukmini ji ka jo sharna gati hai. Bali Maharaj did not have the bhav which Rukmini had. So Rukmini's 
surrender to Krishna is very exalted. Of course, it's not always exactly displayed in that way, but it was at that time just before her marriage. Bali Maharaj, he doesn't he didn't have that kind of bath. Bali Maharaj was the king of heaven. He didn't have that kind of same feeling for Lord Vishnu. It was, there wasn't that emotion there. But Rukmini has that bhava. And one more example of a devotee who surrendered everything to Lord is Amaraj Ambarish. <laughs> Maharaj Ambarish, he, had, he was residing in Mathura, he was a ruler there in Mathura, he was a great devotee and he worshipped the Lord and he used all of his senses in the service of the Lord. But Maharaj Ambarish, his mood of devotion is mixed with dasya, with being the servant. He's offering everything in the mood of being a servant of Lord Krishna. We read in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it's described how Maharaj Ambarish fixed his mind on the lotus feet of Krishna and then he would engage all of his senses in different ways in the service of Krishna. He would hear the glories of the Lord. of the Lord and he would use his tongue to chant the glories of the Lord he was using all of his different sense organs in the service of the Supreme Lord so he's also doing Atmani Vedanam. He surrendered everything for the service of Krishna, but he's done it in the mood of being the servant. So you can see different devotees performing at Manivedanam, but mixed with different emotional level, emotional exchanges with Lord Krishna. And you have Bali Mara, he didn't have that kind of love for Krishna, the same, but still he surrendered everything. So very great devotees, very exalted devotees, they could give up everything for the service of Lord Krishna. So we're not encouraged to try to do that. It's very difficult. These final two angas of bhakti, the satyam being the friend and atmani vedanam, surrendering everything, they are for people who are on the level of 
of uh, raga bhakti who have come to that level of spontaneous devotion for Lord Krishna. So, so we have to focus on the roots of hearing and chanting. Just like when we plant a seed, we have to water the root. You water the root and then the whole plant begins to grow. So we water the seed of bhakti by hearing and chanting. And in this way, all of these other angas, other different limbs of devotion, they gradually develop. So we hear carefully and then we chant what we've heard, we repeat what we've heard. And we start to remember more about the glories of the Lord and his wonderful pastimes. Then we want to worship his lotus feet. We explain worshiping the lotus feet is like taking shelter of the devotees who have served the lotus feet of the Lord. Serve the holy places where the Lord performed his pastimes. Serve those things in relation to the Lord. Then serving the lotus feet leads us to worship the deity of the Lord, to the whole form of the Lord. So we serve the deed archanam, then vandanam, offering prayers. When we worship the Lord, we must also offer prayers regularly. When we offer arti, at that time we also offer prayers. This evening we were singing the Gora arti. It's also a prayer to the Lord. And in the morning we are singing other prayers like Guru Vastikam. Sometimes you see temples, they simply ring the bells and they beat the gongs, they don't offer any prayers. But in the ISKCON temples, we are all taught to do kirtan, the chanting of the holy name and offering prayers. And then have, with offering prayers, then we can go on to do more intense loving service for the Lord. That mode of being the servant, just like the, 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 all devotees of Lord Krishna, they consider themselves to be a servant, a tiny servant of the Supreme. 
तो ये जो भक्तों का भाव है कि सारे भक्त अपने आप को भगवान के एक छोटे से दास के रूप में अपने आप को देखते हैं and service can intend well, higher than service is to become the friend of the lord the one to give friend to enjoy friendship to enjoy the loving relationship with the lord and that friendship culminates where you want to give everything for the pleasure of the lord so there is surrender of the body, there is also surrender of the soul. We use the body for the service of the Lord. The soul is also a part of the Lord. But it's a tiny part of the Lord, just like spark coming from the fire. So the living entity wants to be connected to the Lord, and the connection comes about by service. And that full surrender means we'll do any whatever the Lord requires. We're ready to do. Bali Maharaj was sent back to the lower regions of the universe. He did not complain. The devotees of the Lord do not see any difference between heaven and hell and liberation. Wherever the devotee goes, he will do the same. He will engage in the service of the Lord. <laughs> Prabhupada gives the example. He said, just like you have the machine for threshing the rice, to take out the grains of rice. So wherever you take the machine, it's going to do the same work. It's not going to do anything else. So devotee of Krishna is like that. Wherever he goes, heaven or hell or liberation, he is going to do the same things. He's going to chant Hare Krishna. He's going to worship Krishna. He's going to read the books about Krishna. So you see that I say, Krishna does not matter the place wherever because the devotees of Lord are, are just simply surrendered to the service of Krishna. And we serve Krishna, we serve Krishna in this life, and we go on to serve Krishna in the next life. So death is not a problem for devotee. It's simply a change of body. You give up one body in one place, you go some other place in another body. But continue to serve Krishna. That's all the devotee wants. He doesn't want anything else. Just wants to be engaged in the service of Lord Krishna. Liberation is again, it's just the opportunity to do more service. 
The devotee does not worry about it, if they give liberation or not. Actually, devotee is already liberated because he's engaging in devotional service. That is the liberated platform. He's above the modes of nature. He's free of tamagun, rajagun. He's on the transcendental platform. So the devotee just simply wants to continue that mood of service, to be the servant. And that, pl the, that pleasure of being the servant is even much, much, many times greater than the pleasure of being the master. So people say they want to enjoy, they want happiness. That is natural. That is the nature of the soul. But the real happiness is not found in the body. The real happiness is found in the soul. We have to awaken that consciousness of being a soul. So it begins with chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. That is the beginning, that is also the perfection. Even in the perfection, in the final stages, one will also chant the holy names of the Lord. But there will be a difference in consciousness. The chanting, the mantra is the same, but the mood, the attitude, the consciousness will be much elevated. In the beginning, we're chanting, we're because maybe we have some material problems, we have we have some distress, some anxieties. Maybe we're just chanting, looking for peace of mind. But in the highest stage, one is chanting out of love for Krishna. He's developed that attachment, that attraction for the Supreme Lord, and he's experiencing the bliss, the anand, which is never known in the material world. The happiness of pure devotional service, the happiness of pure devotional service is millions of times greater than any happiness of this material world. So we want all of you to understand this, the, this, the higher taste, the pleasure, which is there in practice of devotional service. And this devotional service can be done by anyone in any position of life, at any time, in any place. Kisi 
and you can get the perfection of life. So we encourage all of you, you please take up this devotional process and experience the, the real pleasure of life. So are there any questions tonight? So, Maharaj Prabhu is saying that can we not give example of Jayanam Prabhu who was, a tech, was driving taxi and he surrendered his whole life to Chila Prabhupada? Yes, okay. Prabhu, Prabhupada, there was this one American man, young man in America. And Prabhupada, went, when he was first there in America, he was one of the first people to come to Prabhupada's classes. And he became a nice devotee and he gave whatever money he made, he would give it to Prabhupada. So, so he got some disease and he was dying, but he didn't want to spend the money on medicine. He said, just give the money to Prabhupada to print his books. So so Prabhupada said that he was a pure devotee, he's gone back to God. He had no material desires. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question, Prabhu? As we hear that uh, greed is not good for the devotees, but uh, the, as we hear that greed is not important for the devotees, uh, not good for the devotees, but your uh, spiritual greed is uh, good for the devotees, like association of devotees or greed for prashadam. Or... So, Pravika Prashna ki, aisa bataya ki lalaj, well, greed for prasadam, greed to distribute prasadam. Yes, you want to distribute prasadam, that's very good. But if the if the greed is just for you to eat prasadam, that's not very good. But greed for spiritual for service, okay, that's good. You want to have a, a as much service as possible. You're eager to do service. Very good. Keep up that enthusiasm. So, greed for the service of Krishna is encouraged. That is not material, that is spiritual desire. But if it's greed just for your own self, it's not very good. So we, we have greed to want to to do to do more service for Krishna. You like to distribute prasadam, you like to distribute books, you like to distribute the holy name. Uh, 
भगवान का प्रसाद वितरण करना बहुत अच्छा लगता है पुस्तकें वितरण करना बहुत अच्छा लगता है भगवान का दिव्य नाम देना सबको अच्छा लगता है सो दैट्स वेरी गुड यू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रीट अगर आपको ऐसा लालच है तो बहुत अच्छा है सुना है की प्रसाद पाना भी अपने आप में एक सेवा है Well, honoring is good. You see, honoring. That's right. That everything depends on the attitude. So, if you have that idea, if you're honoring the prasadam. then that's uh, certainly in the mood of devotional service it can be remembering krishna so maharaj keh rahe ki aapne acha shabd bola hai honoring ki aap prasad ko us tarah se aadar se dekh rahe ho agar aapka waisa bhav hai to wo phir bhagwan ko smaran karne mein aapko madad karega when we take prasadam we should take the prasadam thinking this is the remnants of lord krishna तो हमें ऐसा कि झूठा so इसलिए जो कृष्ण को स्मरण करने का जो भाव है वो होना चाहिए जब हम एंड वी कुड ऑल्सो थिंक ऑफ इट एज सर्विस डूइंग डूइंग सर्विस बिकॉज एक्सेप्टिंग प्रसादम इट्स ऑल्सो इट्स पार्ट ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस और आप उसको ऐसा भी सोच सकते हैं कि वो सेवा है क्योंकि वो के भगवान के भक्ति में सेवा में एक है लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज प्लीज्ड व्हेन वी एक्सेप्ट द रेमनेंट्स ऑफ हिज फूड तो परम भगवान प्रसन्न होते हैं जब हम उनका नचूटन को खाते हैं इट्स द पीपल हु डोंट एक्सेप्ट द रेमनेंट्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड देन दे आर द वेरी अनफॉर्चूनेट इंपियस सोल्स तो वो लोग जो भगवान का उचित नहीं खाते वो बहुत जो खाते हैं वो बहुत सौभाग्यशाली हैं सो यस एक्सेप्टिंग प्रसादम इज वन ऑफ द आइटम्स ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस वी कैन कैन थिंक ऑफ इट एज रिमेंबरिंग वी कैन थिंक ऑफ इट एज सर्विस वी कैन आल्सो थिंक ऑफ इट एज आत्मानी वेदनम इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एटीट्यूड तो आपने सही कहा कि प्रसाद पाना भी ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण अंग है और इसको आप स्मरण में या फिर सेवा में या फिर आत्म निवेदन से संबंधित कर सकते हैं ये निर्भर करता है कि आपका मूड कैसा है इट्स गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट डिवोटीज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन देयर पर्टिकुलर कॉन्शियसनेस और ये अलग-अलग भक्तों पर निर्भर करेगा मेरे भक्तों के केस में अलग-अलग होगा उनकी चेतना पर निर्भर करता है उटिंग प्रश्न है कि हम हमें ये सिद्धांत सुनने में मिलता है कि हमेशा कृष्ण को स्मरण करो और कृष्ण को कभी भी नहीं छोड़ो और तो ये हमें हमेशा सुना है लेकिन आपने जैसे बताया कि जो साख्यम और आत्मनिवेदन ये बहुत उच्च कोटि के जो भक्ति के अंग है तो क्या जो ये बात है और ये हमेशा कृष्ण को याद रखो कृष्ण को नहीं भूलो ये स्मरण से संबंधित लगता है तो क्या ये जो जो साख्यम और आत्मनिवेदन है 
So it depends again on the attitude. For some people, when they remember Krishna, they will think of Krishna as their friend. But someone else will think of Krishna as their maintainer or their protector. It's going to be different. Protector. Someone else is thinking to Krishna, maintain us all, provide for us, give me food, give me shelter. We look to Krishna for that. And so it's going to be different for different devotees depending on their particular mood in giving service to Krishna. We said Srimati uh, Shri Rukmini Devi. Rukmini Devi was was uh, in the mood of bhava with Krishna. Her, she had bhava for Lord Krishna, and she wants Krishna to come and take her to be his her wife, his wife. So, uh, so that was Atmani Vedanam. That was surrendering everything. And Maharaj Ambarish, his mood is service. But he is also surrendering everything. So you're asking about remembering, always remember Krishna, never forget him. Well, all of these different devotees, they're all remembering Krishna, they never forget him. But they're in different mellows, different moods, different moods, different ways of serving Krishna. Sukadeva Goswami is remembering Krishna. He's speaking Srimad Bhagavatam. And Maharaj Parikshit also thinking, he's also thinking about Krishna. He, he's hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam. So everyone engaging in devotional service, they're, they're remembering Krishna. They're not going to forget Krishna. If they're engaging in service, that will happen. But if you're not remembering Krishna, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're not doing devotional service. If you're offering arti and thinking about your home and your business or your family, that's not devotional service. And if you're cooking in the kitchen, you're thinking about what's on the television or you're thinking about whose email hasn't come to you, whose email you have to write, then it's not devotional service. So it's not just a physical activity, but the, the consciousness has to be there that, that I'm doing this for Krishna. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Maharaji. Can, can anyone go to Golo without coming to the platform of Radha Well, uh, 
But I'm coming to Raganuga Bhakti. No, they cannot go to Golok. They have to they have to be in Krishna consciousness. They have to be in Braja. They have to be in Vrindavan in the Lila in Vrindavan. Is so Maharaj is asking someone is in the Vedas tonight and he has just started chanting. So what should he do that gradually, gradually he is getting more and more uh, connected to the devotion of the Lord? Well, he, he should associate with other devotees. You want to hear the scriptures discussed regularly in association of devotees. Association is very important. Yeah, because in the association of devotees, there will be discussion of the topics of Krishna. And in this way, we will become more enlightened in spiritual knowledge. So we have a number of classes and courses going on, and people who are interested, they can take part in these different classes. So we have a number of classes and courses some are some are online and some are live. We prefer offline. <laughs> yes, managing. So, Mother is asking that when we try to uh, advance in Krishna consciousness, some, somewhere our app, uh, uh, on the journey we, we get lost. Is it because on, of on the what? On the journey of Krishna oh, consciousness, Jan. we get some breaks and we get lost. So, is it because of karma or is it because of some offenses? Well, just simply due to your own inattention. If we're not careful, you get lost on the way. So you have to be conscious, you have to be careful what you're doing. The example is there, Bharat Maharaj became a deer. So he had to spend one life in the body of a deer. How did he get lost into the, how did he fall into the body of a deer? Because no association. Without association, he became inattentive, he became careless, he became slack in sadhana. There was, it wasn't offenses. There was, it was just due to his own inattention in sadhana. But if you're very serious and careful and chant and keep in the association of devotees, then you'll be safe. Hmm. 
Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you Maharaj for wonderful now Vidasiri. So Maharaj, my question is how we can surrender our mind in path of devotional service. Sometimes our mind is not fixed up in service. So what practice So we can practice one book is you have to fix your mind on the feet of Krishna. You have to hear about Krishna and you have to chant about Krishna. In that way, your mind will become fixed on Krishna. It's not a secret. We've been telling you about this for several days now. All you have to do, you have to concentrate in hearing and chanting, and this way your mind will become absorbed in thinking of Krishna. Yes, Prabhu. Art is more into the worship of the deities, the decoration of the deities, to make garlands for them, but, his, but the, the heart is not going to chanting. So, uh, what can I do so that I also develop some attention for chanting? And second, without chanting, just by deity worship, can, can we go back to back to work? No, just by deity worship, you cannot go back home, back to God. Huh? Deity worship is for the previous age, not for this age. So what can you do to develop more taste for chanting? First do the chanting before you do the deity worship. So what you do to don't touch the deities till you finish your chanting. You have no qualification to serve the deities if you're not chanting. To, to serve the deities, you must be Brahman. You must be on the platform of Brahman. You must chant the holy name. You may offer flowers to Krishna, but if you're not chanting, Krishna will not accept your flowers. Krishna wants your devotion. If you're not chanting the holy name, you don't have devotion. So you have to understand how important it is to chant. One of the festivals he had, he had to miss his rounds because he was so much into the seva. So one senior devotee told him that then your seva is only sense gratification because you are not, uh, you are not chanting. So. Yes. 
So is it, is it true? Yes. Is it? So you say it. If the senior devotee said it, it must be true, right? So, yes, in festivals, you may get behind in the chanting, but you should catch up after the festival. Yes, bro. My question is that we hear that uh, who is the person who is the Lord Krishna and you think of Lord Krishna. But uh, as we know that Sita Charya was teaching uh, all the material knowledge to the Lord Bhai Maharaj. So how he became the Lord Guru? So with the question is B. Guru to wo bhakti hona chahiye jo Bhagwan ki siksha hume de. To Sukra Charya to Bhagwan ki siksha de nahi de de. To phir Guru kyun kaha ja raha hai? So Sukracharya was a seminal guru. He was the guru of the demons, not the guru of the devotees. So he was only thinking about their material situation. He wasn't thinking about their spiritual situation. So and so we have to do more, more hearing and chanting. It means your hearing and chanting hasn't been effective if you fall down. How, how, what do you mean fall down, first of all? Fall down, so when the mind wanders away from Krishna, you have to bring it back. Just like when we're chanting Hare Krishna mantra, the mind wanders. We have to bring it back. Wherever the mind wanders, bring it back. Don't allow the mind to stay away. You have to constantly control, bring the mind back to Krishna. So, just like we are Hare Krishna Mahamantra, when we are doing our mind, we are going to the Brahman. So, we need to bring it back to Krishna. Just like they asked, somebody asked Prabhupada about uh, Arjuna. You know, Krishna had spoke Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna and told Arjuna, you're not the body, the body is only the dress, and so we don't lament for the body. So did Arjuna lament when his son was killed in the battle of Kurukshetra? So, yeah, Abhiman was killed. So, is, are they going to love? Is he going to lament? Yes, Prabhupada said, yes, he lamented. But next day he went out and fought. He didn't just lament for days about it. You know, they, they, they lamented that Abhimanu was being killed. But then the next day they went out and they fought and they got revenge for the death of Abhimanu. So sometimes, you know, you're, you're doing your devotional service and then something happens, some disaster comes, maybe, you, you know, you, some material problem comes along. What do you do about it? 
Well, you have to take care of it, but then you have to keep your Krishna consciousness. You, for a minute, you, for a few minutes, you'll be disturbed that, oh, this problem, big problem. But then you have to bring, come back to Krishna, fix your mind on Krishna and continue your Krishna consciousness. Okay, so we'll stop here. Thank you very much for all your questions and for the participation. And now we're going to have some kirtan, all right? Yes. So,